Dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare to seek the powerful intercession of St. Raphael in our lives, it is good to know a bit more about this wonderful Archangel. St. Raphael is one of the seven Archangels who stand before the throne of the Lord. He was sent by God to help Tobit, Tobias and Sarah. At the time Tobit was blind and Tobias betrothed, Sarah had seven bridegrooms perish on the night of her wedding. Raphael accompanied Tobias into Media, disguised as a man named Azariah. Raphael helped him through his difficulties and taught him how to safely enter into marriage with Sarah. Raphael further drives out the evil spirit in her. Saint Raphael is also credited for restoring the sight of Tobit, seeing the light of heaven and for receiving all good things through his intercession. Besides Raphael, Michael and Gabriel are the only archangels mentioned by name in the Bible. Raphael's name means God heals. Raphael is also identified as the angel who moved the waters of the healing sheep pool. He is also the patron of the blind, of happy meetings, of nurses, of physicians and of travelers. His feast day is celebrated on September the 29th. But glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glorious Archangel St. Raphael, Great Prince of the Heavenly Court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God. I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. Saint Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Most merciful Archangel Raphael, who faithfully accompanied young Tobias 
from Nineveh to Media. Please accompany me, a wretched sinner, on this dangerous journey through life on earth, to my eternal home in heaven. Most wise Archangel Raphael, while walking beside the Tigris River, you saved the young Tobias from death, teaching him how to obtain control of the fish which threatened his life. Save my life also from the attacks of the evil one who threatens the sanctity of my soul. Amen. Glorious Archangel San Raphael, Great Prince of the Heavenly Court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God. I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. St. Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temper of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the book of Tobit, chapter 6, verse 10 to 12, we hear St. Raphael the Archangel instructing Tobias, Brother, today we shall stay with Raguel. He is your relator, and he has an only daughter named Sarah. I will suggest that she be given to you in marriage, because you are entitled to her and to her inheritance for you are her only eligible kinsman. The girl is beautiful and sensible. Now listen to my plan. I will speak to her father, and as soon as we return from rages, we will celebrate the marriage. Let us now pray to St. Raphael for all those who are preparing for a God-ordained married life, that through his intercession, Every youth will be led to the right partner ordained by God towards holy matrimony. Glorious Archangel St. Raphael, Great Prince of the Heavenly Court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, 
consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels. Because you are the medicine of God, I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. Saint Raphael, I pray especially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Saint Raphael, lead us towards those we are waiting for, those who are waiting for us. Saint Raphael, angel of happy meetings, lead us by the hand towards those we are looking for. May all our movements and all their movements be guided by your light and transfigured by your joy. Amen. Glorious Archangel Saint Raphael, great prince of the heavenly court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God. I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage, to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. Saint Raphael, I pray especially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. 
and finally the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the book of Tobit, chapter 8, verse 2, we see the power of God rested on St. Raphael the Archangel over demonic powers. Then Tobias remembered the words of Raphael, and he took the fish's liver and heart out of the bag where he had them and put them on the embers of the incense. The order of the fish so repelled the demon that he fled to the remotest parts of Egypt. But Raphael followed him and at once bound him there, hand and foot. Let us now seek the intercession of Saint Raphael over every power of darkness attacking or afflicting our souls, our families, our communities, and this entire nation. Come, Saint Raphael, come and defend God's children. Bind up the spirit of sin and death, hand and foot, never to harm us again. Amen. Glorious Archangel San Raphael, great prince of the heavenly court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, Assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels. Because you are the medicine of God, I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage, to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. Saint Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized, and finally the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the book of Tobit, chapter 8, verse 4 to 9, we see the perfect prayer to be made by any newly married couple before embarking on the journey of a fruitful married life. When the door was shut and the two were alone, Tobias got up from the bed and said, Sister, get up and let us pray that the Lord may have mercy upon us. And Tobias began to pray, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers, and blessed be thy holy and glorious name forever. Let the heavens and all thy creatures bless thee. Thou made Adam and gave him Eve his wife as a helper and support. From them the race of mankind has sprung. Thou didst say it is not good that a man should be alone. Let us make a helper for him like himself. And now, O Lord, I am not taking the sister of mine because of lust, but with sincerity. Grant that I may find mercy and may grow old together with her. And she said with him, Amen. Then they both went to sleep for the night. As we contemplate on this prayer of Tobias, we pray to you, St. Raphael, to bring the spirit of holiness and chastity in our own lives. We pray against all spirits of sexual immorality, sexual bondages, every attack of the devil against the institution of marriage, all same-sex unions, and all other forms of sexual perversions perpetrated by men and women. Come, St. Raphael, come and defend God's children against every attack on chastity and personal holiness. Bind up the spirit of sin and death, hand and foot, never to harm us again. Amen. Glorious Archangel St. Raphael, Great Prince of the Heavenly Court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels. Because you are the medicine of God, I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. St. Raphael, I pray especially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the book of Tobit, chapter 6, verse 7, we see the mighty power of healing rested on St. Raphael. Raphael said to Tobias before he had approached his father, I know that his eyes will be opened. Smear the gall of the fish on his eyes. The medicine will make the white film shrink and peel off from his eyes. And your father will regain his sight and see the light. Tobias went up to him with the gall of the fish in his hand and holding him firmly, he blew it into his eyes saying, Take courage, father. With this he applied the medicine on his eyes and it made them smart. Next, with both his hands, he peeled off the white films from the corner of his eyes. Then Tobit saw his son and threw his arms around him, and he wept and said to him, I see you, my son, the light of my eyes. Most powerful Archangel Raphael, who by a miracle of God restored the precious gift of sight to the blind Tobit. Heal me, free me from spiritual blindness, and lift the veil of spiritual blindness of the world, so that we may come to know and love the divine splendor of truth, who is Jesus our Lord, God and Redeemer. Protect me from deception, and heal me to live and honor God's laws every day of my life. Amen. Glorious Archangel St. Raphael, great prince of the heavenly court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God, I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage, to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. St. Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temper of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the book of Tobit, chapter 12, verse 11 to 15, St. Raphael reveals his identity to Tobit and Tobias. So now, when you and Sarah prayed, it was I who brought and read the record of your prayer before the glory of the Lord. And likewise, whenever you would bury the dead, and at that time when you did not hesitate to get up and leave your dinner to go and bury the dead, I was sent to you to test you. And at the same time, God sent me to heal you and Sarah, your daughter-in-law. I am Raphael, one of the seven angels who stand ready and enter before the glory of the Lord. Dear Son Raphael, as you enter the glory of God, remember each one of us, weak sinners. Take our cries and petitions to the mighty throne of our Lord and King. As the most humble and obedient Son of God, we pray that you will plead our petitions to our Lord along with Mother Mary and all other angels and saints. Angel Guide of Tobias, lay the request we now address to you at the feet of him on whose unveiled face you are privileged to gaze, lonely and tired, crushed by the separations and sorrows of earth, we feel the need of calling to you and of pleading for the protection of your wings, so that we may not be as strangers in the province of joy, all ignorant of the concerns of our country. Remember the weak, you who are strong, you whose home lies beyond the region of thunder, in a land that is always peaceful, always serene, and bright with the resplendent glory of God. Amen. Glorious Archangel San Raphael, great prince of the heavenly court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels. Because you are the medicine of God, I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage, to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. St. Raphael, I pray especially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temper of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In Tobit chapter 12, verse 6 to 9, we see Saint Raphael advising Tobit and Tobias on what is expected from the children of God during their short sojourn in this earthly life. Let us heed this advice carefully and with all diligence as it comes straight from one of the seven archangels serving God's heavenly throne. Then Raphael called the two of them privately and said to them, Bless God and acknowledge him in the presence of all the living for the good things he has done for you. Bless and sing praise to his name. With fitting honor, declare to all people the deeds of God. Do not be slow to acknowledge him. It is good to conceal the secret of a king, but to acknowledge and reveal the works of God, and with fitting honor to acknowledge him. Do good and evil will not overtake you. Prayer with fasting is good, but better than both is almsgiving with righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than wealth with wrongdoing. It is better to give alms than to lay up gold. For almsgiving saves from death and purges away every sin. Those who give alms will enjoy a full life but those who commit sin and do wrong are their own worst enemies. O Saint Raphael, who is bestowed with the grace of ever praising and thanking God in his holy presence, please grant us that rich grace to live a life of praise and thanksgiving, ever acknowledging God's presence in our day-to-day -day lives. Grant us the grace of charity to extend our arms to the poor, the weak, and the marginalized. Amen. Glorious Archangel Saint Raphael, great prince of the heavenly court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted, and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God. I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. Saint Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity 
to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temper of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And finally, as St. Raphael exhorted us, let us thank and acknowledge the mighty power of God, along with Tobit, for the mighty healing and deliverance in our lives through the intercession of St. Raphael, as in the book of Tobit, chapter 13. Blessed be God who lives forever because his kingdom lasts throughout all ages, for he afflicts and he shows mercy. He leads down to hates in the lowest regions of the earth, and he brings up from the great abyss and there is nothing that can escape his hand. Acknowledge him before the nations, O children of Israel, for he has scattered you among them. He has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him in the presence of every living being, because he is our Lord and he is our God. He is our Father and he is God forever. He will afflict you for your iniquities, but he will again show mercy on all of you. He will gather you from all the nations among whom you have been scattered. If you turn to him with all your heart and with all your soul to do what is true before him, then he will turn to you and will no longer hide his face from you. So now see what he has done for you. Acknowledge him at the top of your voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. In the land of my exile, I acknowledge him and show his power and majesty to a nation of sinners. Turn back, you sinners, and do what is right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God, and my soul rejoices in the King of heaven. Let all the people speak of his majesty and acknowledge him in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, the holy city, he afflicted you for the deeds of your hands, but will again have mercy on the children of the righteous. Acknowledge the Lord, for he is good, and bless the King of the ages so that his tent may be rebuilt in you in joy. May he cheer all those within you who are captives and love all those within you who are distressed to all generations forever. A bright light will shine to all the ends of the earth. Many nations will come to you from far away, the inhabitants of the remotest part of the earth to your holy name bearing gifts in their hands for the King of Heaven. Generation after generation will give joyful praise in you. The name of the chosen city will endure forever. Cursed are all who speak a harsh word against you. Cursed are all who conquer you and pull down your walls, all who overthrow your towers and set your homes on fire. But blessed forever will be all who revere you. Go then and rejoice over the children of the righteous, for they will be gathered together and will praise the Lord of the ages. 
Happy are those who love you, and happy are those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy also are all people who grieve with you because of your afflictions, for they will rejoice with you and witness all your glory forever. My soul blesses the Lord, the great King, for Jerusalem will be built as his house for all ages, for happy I will be if a remnant of my descendants should survive, to see your glory and acknowledge the King of heaven. The gates of Jerusalem will be built with sapphire and emerald, and all your walls with precious stones. The towers of Jerusalem will be built with gold, and their battlements with pure gold. The streets of Jerusalem will be paved with ruby and with stones of offer. The gates of Jerusalem will sing hymns of joy, and all their houses will cry, Hallelujah! Blessed be the God of Israel, and blessed will bless the holy name forever and ever. Amen. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, God. Hallelujah, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We thank and praise you. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Lord. We bless you, God. We thank you for your power, for your majesty, for your kingdom. Thank you, Lord. You are our King. We praise and thank you. Thank you, Lord. We acknowledge you as our King, our Lord, and our Savior, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Glorious Archangel St. Raphael, Great Prince of the Heavenly Court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God. I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. St. Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glorious Archangel St. Raphael, Great Prince of the Heavenly Court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, 
consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God. I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. Saint Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now together call up on the powerful presence of Saint Raphael by reciting the following litany in honor of him. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Saint Raphael, pray for us. Saint Raphael, filled with the mercy of God, pray for us. Saint Raphael, perfect adorer of the Divine Word, pray for us. Saint Raphael, terror of demons, pray for us. Saint Raphael, exterminator of vices, pray for us. Saint Raphael, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, our refuge in all our trials, pray for us. Saint Raphael, guide of travelers, pray for us. Saint Raphael, consoler of prisoners, pray for us. Saint Raphael, joy of the sorrowful, pray for us. Saint Raphael, filled with zeal for the salvation of souls, pray for us. Saint Raphael, whose name means God heals, pray for us. Saint Raphael, lover of chastity, pray for us. Saint Raphael, scourge of demons, pray for us. Saint Raphael, in pestilence, famine, and war, pray for us. Saint Raphael, angel of peace and prosperity, pray for us. Saint Raphael, endowed with the grace of healing, pray for us. Saint Raphael, sure guide in the paths of virtue and sanctification. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, help of all those who implore your assistance. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, who was the guide and consolation of Tobias on his journey. 
pray for us. Saint Raphael, whom the scriptures praise, Raphael, the holy angel of the Lord, was sent to cure, pray for us. Saint Raphael, our advocate, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Pray for us, Son Raphael, to the Lord our God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, by the prayer of the Archangel Raphael, grant us the grace to avoid all sin and to persevere in every good work until we reach our heavenly destination. You who lives and reigns, world without end. Amen. Glorious Archangel Saint Raphael, great prince of the heavenly court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God, I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage, to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. Saint Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now bring our very own personal intentions to St. Raphael. Dear St. Raphael, I now lift unto you my entire body, mind and soul, all the brokenness in me, the deepest pain, anguish and suffering that I am going through right now. I bring to the cross of Jesus all the spirit of anger, jealousy, pride, selfishness, haughtiness, loftiness, arrogance, unforgiveness, bitterness, and all forms of resentment within me. I am really sorry about the ways I continue to pierce the wounded and bleeding heart of Jesus. Lead me through your intercession to perfect repentance. I bring to your healing power, O dear Saint Raphael, all the inflammations, infections, 
broken or blocked veins and arteries, all my weak cells and bones, my entire body, right from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. All the curses upon me and my family tree I bring to you, Sin Raphael, or intergenerational curses passed down to me and my family from the past nine generations, or influence of evil gods or goddesses, all evil spirits sent against me, Jezebel spirits, territorial spirits, spirit of death, spirit of failures, spirit of deceit, cunningness and treachery, and accidents, all the attacks of the devil against my vocational life and professional life, I bring to you, dear son Raphael. Come and heal, dear son Raphael. Come with your brother archangels, son Michael, son Gabriel, and legions of angels, and set me, my family tree, my community, and this entire nation completely free from the attacks of the evil one. Come and bind the evil spirits, hand and feet, those evil spirits afflicting us. Hide and make the children of God invisible under your wings. Break every power of sin over my body, mind and soul. Break every curse and break every demonic bondage and set me free completely by the blood of Jesus Christ. Come Holy Spirit, living in Mary, through the intercession of St. Raphael, destroy all that is evil in me and rebuild me and renew me in Christ from this time on to the rest of my life. Come Holy Spirit, living in Mary, through the intercession of St. Raphael, destroy all that is evil in me and rebuild me and renew me in Christ from this time on to the rest of my life. Come Holy Spirit, living in Mary, through the intercession of St. Raphael, destroy all that is evil in me and rebuild me and renew me in Christ from this time on to the rest of my life. As I make this prayer nine times, I consecrate myself completely to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Lord and Heavenly Father, as I lay my needs before you, let me touch your merciful heart. Teach me to be attentive to other people so that I may show your compassion and mercy to them as directed by St. Raphael. Amen. Glorious Archangel St. Raphael, Great Prince of the Heavenly Court, You are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God. I humbly pray you, to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body, I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need especially those in my family tree. St. Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Glorious Archangel Saint Raphael, Great Prince of the Heavenly Court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God. I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. Saint Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temper of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glorious Archangel Saint Raphael, Great Prince of the Heavenly Court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God, I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. Saint Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glorious Archangel Saint Raphael, Great Prince of the Heavenly Court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God, I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection 
on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need especially those in my family tree sin rafael i pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family our community this nation bind them up hand and foot never to harm and cast them into the darkness never to return i also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge god among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized and finally the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the holy spirit amen glorious archangel san rafael great prince of the heavenly court you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace you are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners i beg you assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life as once you helped the young tobias on his travels because you are the medicine of god i humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body i especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my heavenly father and lord el shaddai your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need especially those in my family tree san rafael i pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family our community this nation bind them up hand and foot never to harm and cast them into the darkness never to return i also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge god among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized and finally the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the holy spirit amen glorious archangel san rafael great prince of the heavenly court you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace you are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners i beg you assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life as once you helped the young tobias on his travels because you are the medicine of god i humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body i especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my heavenly father and lord el shaddai your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need especially those in my family tree san rafael i pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family our community this nation bind them up hand and foot never to harm and cast them into the darkness never to return i also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge god among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized and finally 
the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glorious Archangel San Raphael, great prince of the heavenly court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God. I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. St. Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temper of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glorious Archangel St. Raphael, great prince of the heavenly court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God. I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai. Your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. St. Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temper of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glorious Archangel St. Raphael, great prince of the heavenly court, you are illustrious for your gifts of wisdom and grace. You are a guide of those who journey by land or sea or air, consoler of the afflicted and refuge of sinners. I beg you, assist me in all my needs and in all the sufferings of this life, as once you helped the young Tobias on his travels, because you are the medicine of God. I humbly pray you to heal the many infirmities of my soul and the ills that afflict my body. I especially ask you 
to take my petitions and prayers to the throne of my Heavenly Father and Lord El Shaddai, your special protection on all families and the institution of marriage, to bring physical and emotional healing to all those in need, especially those in my family tree. Saint Raphael, I pray specially that you will bind up the devil and all evil spirits attacking our family, our community, this nation. Bind them up hand and foot, never to harm, and cast them into the darkness, never to return. I also seek the grace for me and all in my family tree to fearlessly acknowledge God among the nations and the grace of charity to help the poor and the marginalized. And finally, the great grace of purity and chastity to prepare me to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. August Queen of Heaven, Sovereign Mistress of Angels, who did receive from the beginning the mission and the power to crush the serpent's head, we beseech thee to send thy holy angels, that under thy command and by thy power they may pursue the evil spirits, encounter them on every side, resist their bold attacks, and drive them hence into the abyss of eternal woe. Most Holy Mother, send thy angels to defend us, to conceal us, and to drive the cruel enemy from us. St. Michael, St. Raphael, St. Gabriel, the Archangels, with legions of angels and archangels, come surround me right now and make me and all associated with me completely invisible to our enemies. Hide me under your wings, O holy angels, so that no eyes can see, no ears can hear, no minds understand the mighty plan of God for me, my family tree, and all associated with me. Blind all evil spirits and evil minds, O holy angels and archangels, so that they may not see or hear our work and our plans, and that they may not be able to deceive and persecute us, nor interfere with our plans and projects, or cause confusion in our endeavors to serve God and to serve humanity. All ye holy angels and archangels, help and defend us. Amen. August Queen of Heaven, Sovereign Mistress of Angels, who did receive from the beginning the mission and the power to crush the serpent's head, we beseech thee to send thy holy angels, that under thy command and by thy power they may pursue the evil spirits, encounter them on every side, resist their bold attacks, and drive them hence into the abyss of eternal woe. Most Holy Mother, send thy angels to defend us, to conceal us, and to drive the cruel enemy from us. St. Michael, St. Raphael, St. Gabriel, 
the archangels, with legions of angels and archangels, come surround me right now and make me and all associated with me completely invisible to our enemies. Hide me under your wings, O holy angels, so that no eyes can see, no ears can hear, no minds understand the mighty plan of God for me, my family tree, and all associated with me. Blind all evil spirits and evil minds, O holy angels and archangels, so that they may not see or hear our work and our plans, and that they may not be able to deceive and persecute us, nor interfere with our plans and projects or cause confusion in our endeavors to serve God and to serve humanity. All ye holy angels and archangels, help and defend us. Amen. August Queen of Heaven, Sovereign Mistress of Angels, who did receive from the beginning the mission and the power to crush the serpent's head, we beseech thee to send thy holy angels that under thy command and by thy power they may pursue the evil spirits, encounter them on every side, resist their bold attacks, and drive them hence into the abyss of eternal woe. Most Holy Mother, send thy angels to defend us, to conceal us, and to drive the cruel enemy from us. St. Michael, St. Raphael, St. Gabriel, the archangels, with legions of angels and archangels, come surround me right now and make me and all associated with me completely invisible to our enemies. Hide me under your wings, O holy angels, so that no eyes can see, no ears can hear, no minds understand the mighty plan of God for me, my family tree, and all associated with me. Blind all evil spirits and evil minds, O holy angels and archangels, so that they may not see or hear our work and our plans, and that they may not be able to deceive and persecute us, nor interfere with our plans and projects or cause confusion in our endeavors to serve God and to serve humanity. All ye holy angels and archangels, help and defend us. Amen.